Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for the latest episode, uh, episode 5 of Agatha All Along, Darkest Hour, Wake Thy Power. Before I get fully into like the main spoilers, my goodness, what a crazy episode. This was insane from beginning to end. Now, this was the shortest episode we've seen uh, at only 31 minutes total, minus the minute and a half recap. Minus like five or six minutes for all the... So this was a short one, but it was packed full of action, packed full of revelations, packed full of all the good stuff that we love about this show. So highly, highly do encourage, if you haven't seen this episode, go check it out. I will be going into spoilers, so let's talk about it. Um, all right. And like I said, episode five. Uh, wow. We we first kicked things off with the, the Salem 7. Creepily, like in the most creepiest of ways, looking for Agatha on the road. Uh, we do find out from the witches that uh, the, the these are the children uh, the, of the seven of the witches that Agatha killed in Salem by taking their power. Uh, so she left them alive. They formed the coven, uh, and they are not very happy. They are looking for Agatha to enact their revenge. Um, so the team has to get away. The coven has to get away. And of course, they have to do it in the witch's way possible. Teen suggests, hey, what about uh, some brooms to get away? And although everyone very reluctantly agrees to do so, because obviously witches, you know, brooms, it's a big stereotype. Uh, they do put, with, you know, they put some brooms together uh, and just it makes it a really fun getaway. There's a really cool visual of them flying over like in front of the moon. Uh, and then as they're kind of falling back down to the ground, we even see Rio cackling like a witch. Really, really fun stuff. Like this is just delivering on all fronts as far as the the laughs. Uh, just being, I don't know, it's such a such an intense show sometimes. Uh, so the next trial, it will be Agatha's, is the 80s sleepover that you've seen in probably the trailers and the commercials and stuff. Uh, they got to do a Ouija and figure out who is in the room. Uh, Agatha does a little fake out with a possession, but then uh, we do see that a spirit is coming after Agatha, uh, which once they figure out that this spirit wants Agatha dead, like originally Rio's kind of the only one having a good time with everything kind of falling apart, which is still very interesting, right? Very, her character, we still aren't sure where she fully falls in under all this stuff, but it's really cool to see. Uh, and then we see that Agatha does get really possessed. It turns out to be the spirit of her mother. Uh, it's a ghost. It's Agatha's mom. We do see that. Uh, after all the possession, they they have a choice. They either leave Agatha behind or they try to get out. Alice does what she feels is right and shoots her powers at Agatha to get her rid of the ghost. But this also causes Agatha to drain her of her powers. Uh, and she drains pretty much everything. She kills Alice. Uh, we do hear the voice of uh, Nicholas Scratch asking Agatha, her mom, to stop, but it is too late. Uh, Alice is no longer with the group. She's dead. They have to leave her behind um, very solemnly and pretty. Everyone just like after all this happens, of course, uh, everyone's pretty upset. We do see we see Jen and we see Lily, Lilia uh, leaving and they all kind of agree that Everyone is on the road for selfish reasons, and Agatha confront. Oh, teen confronts Agatha about it, uh, and Agatha, you know, she she has a really interesting quote that says, "You're so much like your mother." Now, obviously, if she believes him to still be her son, he could be like her, or he could be like Wanda, if he is uh, Billy Kaplan um, Wiccan. Uh, so we don't know yet. Uh, one thing I notice is that. Right before the last end scene happens, which is pretty intense as well, uh, Rio is not around, right? Uh, maybe she's collecting the body of Alice as she does. She, We do have theories out there that she might be uh, death because even when death is brought up with the Ouija board, like she reacts in a very interesting fashion. Um, uh, and although she seems a little bit protective of Agatha, especially like her against her mom, uh, she, we don't see her come out of the, of this sleepover house into the next thing into the road, uh, but finally, Teen is pissed. He goes all out. He controls uh, Lilia and uh, Jen to 
they throw uh, Agatha into outside of the road. So like, you know how the road was swallowing uh, Sharon earlier on in a few episodes. So she's swallowed up by the road. Uh, and then Teen also with his own powers, which we actually see they are purple. Uh, well, I guess they're kind of bluish. So it's interesting. It's inter I have to go back and take a look to see. And I'm sure a lot of people on the internet will start speculating. They kind of look blue. They kind of look purple. But he does end up also pushing uh, Lilia and Jen into this like sand uh, outside of the road that swallows them up. So right now, as we stand with the episode, it is only teen left on the road. Uh, you know, Miss Sharon, Sharon is dead. Mrs. Hart is dead. Uh, Rio is MIA. Alice is dead. Uh, and then Agatha, Jen, and Lilia have been swallowed up by the earth. And then as we close out the last shot of the episode, we zoom in on Teen's face, and as we start pulling back out, we see him wearing a crown, very similar to when Wanda became the Scarlet Witch, just in a different color. Uh, and then Billie Eilish's You Should See Me in a Crown starts playing over the end credits. Very exciting stuff. I am so into the show. It's so good. Like I said, this was a tight one, probably like 25 minutes top. So man, oh man, did they manage to put like, Every second of the show is being used so efficiently. What an amazing episode. Very excited to talk about it some more. Very excited to see what people on the internet have to say. Uh, so there you have it. This is the episode of Agatha All Along. If you've seen this, let me know what you think about this one. Down in the comments, let me know your theories, all that stuff. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.